the St. Regis. Um, you know, you can do that artwork, you can hang it in a gallery, and you can stick a nice fat price tag on it, and everyone can look at it for three weeks. Or you can actually sell it at a much better rate and get a much wider audience. Because all of a sudden you've got the publicity that you're in this five-star hotel. And we also give the marketing team of the hotel all the information. So they also have a story, you know, this locally based artist, this is what they did. So for them, it gives them great exposure. So that's where we negotiate. And that's how, we, you know, and we also have price points. If someone comes in at me, with me with a beautiful painting, but it's 20,000 and the client's got two, then obviously I don't talk to them because it's just not fair. Um, it's negotiation all the time, but it's that wider audience that they're going to get. And what happens when you have a client that says, just something like that, just screen print that, screen print that on a canvas, that's fine. What happens then? Do, do you find that, that they will, I don't want to, I don't want to, do you find that they will circumvent the artist and? No, we, we won't, no. Um, they try to sometimes, or they say, I know a guy who knows a guy that exactly. can do it in China. No, we won't do that. We will not put our name to that at all. And sometimes we have, we, you know, we lose projects because we say, you can't afford that. And what when you lose a project and you go to that place six months later and lo and behold, a copy of that art piece that you rec recommended yeah. them is hanging there. Uh, you've had something similar? Um, sometimes, yes, it, it is difficult. Because, but I think it's a matter of educating your client yeah. to what is valuable and what is not and what he can afford within his budget. Obviously, Everyone wants an Aston Martin for the price of an uh, Audi, but we, th that cannot happen, right? So we need to educate the client. And that happens with everything, with the, with the marble they select, with the rugs they select, with art as well. So that <laughs> comes to a point. And secondly, I think it's important to the client, for him to know, to see the track record of an artist's previous work, to see that it's worth investing, that he'll get... Because it's very difficult to sell something that you can't see. Yeah. I think it's very, very challenging. Uh, with projects, obviously, we can do our 3Ds, we do models, we try to sell it that way. But uh, when it comes to art and statement pieces, when you're trying to sell, it's very difficult to sell something that you can't see, that it's not there yet. Obviously, artists won't make models and 3Ds to, for the client to approve or not, or samples as they do in everything else. So I think it's just a matter of explaining the background of the artist, where it comes from, the value, the meaning, and, it's a, and it, the client has to connect with, with it. It's something that he has to trust that he has to be willing to try that artist and uh, believe in the artist to make such a decision but budget-wise. I just wanted to add to that. It's, it comes back to educating the market. So I think Dubai as a trend, we're moving towards that direction. We've got a lot of new uh, events coming up. Design Week itself is ed educating the client, appreciating art, appreciating uniqueness. Uh, so this is, it's kind of changing the mindset. Whereas I would say 10 years ago, no, it wasn't the same scenario. But we still have a long way to go. I mean, uh, we have a lot of local talent here. And the whole point is we need to promote them. And how do we promote them? We put them out there. We showcase them, not just in, and yes, we showcase them in galleries. And that's an amazing thing. But at the same time, we actually sell them. We make them commercially valid. We, we to make money. build, like, I mean, Khalid, for instance, I think he's a pure example of local talent that's really... Uh, progressed, you know, and we want a lot of people to look at him and, and follow that, uh, you know, with product design, with furniture design, with not just art itself as in paintings, it, it should progress to other fields. And the, the energy between design and art is a strong collaboration, it's a strong energy. Um, when artists and designers get together, um, they inspire each other and you create different things and, and you think differently. So an artist can actually influence a designer to think differently, to create something even more unique, even more special. So it's more of a collaboration. It's the collaboration. More the collaboration. Maybe commenting on, on the, um, the difference between when you take an art piece or a design piece from an artist, if you take it from his own collection or of his own solo show, that's something that they don't have that uh, restraints in terms of like yeah. colors and stuff. When we say commissioned work, means it's specifically done for a particular project. And I, I agree, I, I think you guys almost deal with this every day. And this is where I think somehow the designers and artists come to uh, equation where both of them are given a brief 
to design, but then they just put their practice on what they are creating here. So this is the difference when we say you are commissioning something for this wall. But again, I'm, I'm sure in the, in the project or in consultancy, they sometimes uh, provide options of uh, existing artworks that's uh, um, for the, maybe the style of the artist or the designer is, is preferred by the client, but I don't think so we have, uh, we have to differentiate between those two, the commissioned work and the purely existing one. In terms of education though, and um, I, I might have a bit of different angle because we know art have established here since very long years, and we have masters in art like Abdelkader uh, Rais, Hassan Sharif Al Arhama, Najat Makki. There's many, many names of of, uh, of masters in art here, but I, I don't think so that people that either did really understand art or they uh, they just follow trends. If I if I have to put original artwork on my walls, and this is the trend in, in let's say, interiors, then I want just to have an art. Because we cannot say that the, these, were, these were local artists. They were not artists brought to the country. So if, they, if we have them in the past 20 or 30 years, our Dubai been there for more than 10 years, so that means the spread of art education was there since 10 years at least. Maybe design is a new and design week is two years, that design day, downtown. This is a new, and I think this is what, what is, if, if we didn't feel there is a difference between both, we wouldn't have created something and we call it design. And I remember even the day when we discussed Dubai Design District and what is the factors they would be highlighting in terms, we were asked those questions. Do you believe we should say our design, fashion, blah, blah, blah? and we were saying, please don't mix because if you are creating design events, then you by yourself admitting that there's a difference between Art Dubai and what you are creating. Then why do you mix them now? So uh, this, is, this is where the discussion goes, but I, I believe art used to be here. It's just a matter, sometimes I feel we just go and follow the trend. Whenever we tell them there's a new colors and new things, um, I know one of the countries around us, I mean in the Middle East, where art became art, where before um, the high-end bags uh, and fashion was, but today, everyone is uh, bragging about the latest art pieces acquired by them in their house. So I think sometimes it becomes a kind of trend and follow, not in particularly, yes, we understand the value of art or the artist. Yes, these guys are doing their job and we are doing our job by creating good work, but then, yes, the market needs time to grow and to understand the difference. Trends will be, uh, it will fade, but then I think reality will remain. So yeah, we have to wait, we have to be patient. Well, with that in mind, do you find you have clients or people coming to you or people coming to you, Roland, saying they want an art piece for the house or for the hotel and they want to use it as more of an investment tool rather than I want to appreciate art. It's just get me something from that artist who's hot now. I want that because I know that's going to appreciate in value. Okay. For me, I, I, I speak about design in particular because it's a little bit different game. Though I, I don't accept, as a normal practice, I don't accept a custom request or let's say a personalized request. So because that the vision and the strategy I put for my brand is like to push to the market. It's a push strategy where I have a collection goals, you buy it as it is, you have certain customization allowed to you or given to you. Similar to any brand you go around, uh, the Italian, German, any other brand. Uh, yet, if, if I got a commission for a specific installation, yes, this is where we discuss and negotiate. Yes, people come sometimes and say like, uh, let me buy some from Khalid Shafar, uh, just uh, because I can sense that in the future your piece will be too expensive. So, yes, they, they put it in the way that they're laughing, but there might be some merit behind that, because this is what you do with collecting art as well. I do collect art, but uh, I'm a young collector, and then I will be spotting. I might have an eye to someone who could grow, and I can see a clear art direction of their approach. But I think we all do this. But if we spot something that we, we appreciate the value of it, yes. And that depends on a personal choice. If I'm doing that, if they were clear and honest enough to say, I'm doing it, it's not because I really like it, but I feel it's a good investment, and that's an investment. It's exactly as we do when we buy a property. If we buy it for us to live in, there was, will be a lot of restrictions if, or a lot of less that what we want in this. But if we want it to be for an investment, the best, the hottest spot in town, the best value, the best time and stuff. So I think with art, from a customer point of view or client point of view, they do the same. If they believe in us, like growing in the future with a really high value of art or design, they will come and pick. But I don't think so from our end we will do, unless we do believe in that. I mean, some people would say, I would do design and, and do whatever I like. That, that's fine in the beginning, 
But then someone like consults you and say like, you could do that, but you could later on the, uh, clean or uh, wash dishes at a restaurant because you're not a forward. If you keep that, if you keep that stubborn mentality, fine. You can maybe create a, a balance. Do what you like, but then let's guide you on the commercial part of it. So at least you can get an income.